Welcome, fellow travelers, to an adventure-filled journey through the vibrant city of Oslo, Norway. Today, we're counting down the top 10 things to do in this Scandinavian gem, where rich history, breathtaking landscapes, and modern culture collide. So, buckle up, as we explore the very best that Oslo has to offer. Number 10. Holmenkollen Ski Museum and Tower. A shortcut to Norwegian sporting history but also national identity, the Holmenkollbakken Hill has been staging ski jumping competitions since 1892. The ski jumping events of the Winter Olympics were held here in 1952 and four Fis Nordic World Ski Championships have taken place at this venerated location. Within the structure of the ski jump is the Ski Museum, which guides you through the 4,000-year history of skiing in Norway. At the highest point of the ski jump is a panoramic observation deck that lets you look over Oslo and its fjord. Number 9. Kon Tiki Museum, all about the adventures of the 20th century anthropologist Thor Heyerdahl. The Kon Tiki Museum is named after the balsa wood raft that Heyerdahl sailed from Peru to Polynesia in 1947. His purpose for taking on this perilous journey was to prove that Polynesians had emigrated to the Central and South Pacific from South America. In another daring expedition Heyerdahl sailed from Morocco to Barbados on the papyrus reed boat Ra 2 to prove that the ancient Egyptians could have crossed the Atlantic. You'll get to see these two vessels, as well a replica of the Tigris, which he sailed from Iraq to Pakistan. Number 8. Oslo Opera House. A spellbinding landmark right on the harbor, the home of the Norwegian National Opera and Ballet is the Oslo Opera House, completed in 2007. Resembling an iceberg, this angular building is clad with white granite and Italian Carrara marble and has a main auditorium that can seat 1,364 spectators. On a casual visit you can go up to the roof for free for a phenomenal view of the Oslofjord, best done at sunset. The inside is also a delight, with warm surfaces covered with oak to counter the iciness of the exterior's glass and stone. In the lobby there's a wall panel designed by Olafur Eliasson, and on a platform in the fjord is a glass and stainless steel sculpture by Monica Bonvicini. Number 7. Norwegian National Gallery. Many people come to this museum for a single reason, to see Edvard Munch's The Scream. A proto-expressionist painting known to all, there's nothing to say about the scream that hasn't already been said. Except when you see this icon of modern art you may be surprised to see that it is painted on cardboard. And while the scream and another Munch masterpiece, the Madonna, are a worthy main event, there's more for art aficionados to sink their teeth into. You can also dip into more Norwegian art by leading lights such as Harriet Backer, Adolf Tiedemann and Hans Gude. Number 6. Norwegian Folk Museum. In that same bundle of world-class museums on the Baidoy Peninsula, the Norwegian Folk Museum is an open-air attraction that has welcomed visitors for more than 115 years. The core of the collection was established by King Oscar II in the early 1880s and its showpiece is the Gullstave Church, put up in the middle of the 12th century and relocated here in 1884. That wonderful monument is one of 155 historical buildings at the museum, outlining the diversity of wooden architecture around the country. After making your way around these beautiful monuments you can pour over the indoor exhibits, which have traditional costumes, exhibitions about the history of medicine, toys, handicrafts, details about Sami culture, tools and weapons. Number 5. Fram Museum. On the Baidoy Peninsula, this museum pays tribute to the daring polar explorers of the turn of the 20th century, namely Fritjof Nansen, Otto Sverdrup and Roald Amundsen. The center of attention here is the Fram, a wooden ship that was used by all three explorers in both Arctic and Antarctic expeditions between 1893 and 1912, going further north and south than any other vessel in history. Both unusually wide and shallow, the Fram had an ingenious design allowing it to float on top of sheets of ice. Aboard the Fram you'll see how humans and their dogs battled to survive in some of the most hostile conditions on the planet. Number 4. Beigland Museum. After the Sculpture Park visit the Beigland Museum in the neoclassical building on the southern boundary. This beautiful structure was built in the 1920s as the atelier and home of Gustav Beigland after he had agreed to donate his works to the city. After his death the building became a museum in 1947, preserving his private apartment on the third floor where he lived from 1924 to 1943 and which is fitted for the most part with items he designed. Number 3. Frogner Park. Free to enter at any time of year, 
Frogner Park is in Oslo's namesake borough and is a joy for the installations by 20th century sculptor Gustav Weigland. There are 212 sculptures in total, in bronze and granite from Itafjord. Weigland's works are realist and their subjects are bizarre, from a man fighting with babies to a woman being ridden by a baby using her plaited hair as reins. Many of these works like the Angry Boy, Sinitagen, have become identifiers for Oslo. Number 2. Viking Ship Museum, an arm of the University of Oslo's Cultural History Museum, the Viking Ship Museum has jaw-dropping finds from four different Viking burial sites around the Oslo Fjord. The museum is on the Bidoy Peninsula and shines thanks to the Osberg ship. This 9th-century burial ship was excavated in 1904-05 and is like new as it had been encased for all that time in watertight and airtight mud. No less exciting are similar ships from Thun and Gokstad, together with all the artifacts found buried with them like beds, small boats, a complete cart, tent components, wood carvings, textiles and other treasures brought to light in Viking graves. Number 1. Baidoy Peninsula, on the west side of Oslo, you'll find yourself coming back to the Baidoy Peninsula time and again. As well as the Baidoy Royal Estate, the peninsula has five national museums, the Viking Ship Museum, the Fram Museum, the Norwegian Folk Museum, the Kon Tiki Museum and the Norwegian Maritime Museum. Every one of these deserves your time, and most are on the list below, but when the weather's good this quiet, residential corner of the city is also somewhere to get out into nature or take a dip in summer. There are countryside and coastal trails for walkers and cyclists, and the tempting, sheltered beaches at Huck. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your fellow travel enthusiasts, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting travel guides from around the world.